friends. Hi, hello, how are you? Welcome or welcome back to the Curvy Chronicles. My name's Courtney and today we are doing probably one of the stupidest things I've ever done. Saturday before Thanksgiving at 10 a.m. Glutton for punishment? Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have three stops on our list. We have Costco and it's not, I'm not doing a regular Costco trip. This is not going to be a Costco haul. This is strictly for list items and I will be diligent about <laughs> strictly list items this time. We're gonna go to Winco, and finally my local grocery store. So, I'm gonna insert footage of what I did to prep before I left the house, and then we're gonna head inside to go shopping. So we started out by making a list of what everyone's bringing, what all we are cooking. So these are things that we are responsible for. These are things that guests are bringing. And then I am gonna make breakfast that morning. And then here's the shopping list. So I've got my local grocery store and then our Winco. And I like to write down the prices of our local grocery store, see what they have to see if the prices compare here, which is cheaper. So. I will go to Costco because I like to do a charcuterie spread-ish, um, and I will take a video of that if I get a chance and include it in an upcoming video because we won't have, this is going to go up before Thanksgiving. So <clears throat> not all of these things are things I'm going to purchase. It's just notes I want to check pricing on, um, but for the most part, most of it is stuff we're going to buy. So that is the grocery list. Now let's head inside and go shopping. Okay, so you've seen the breakdown. Uh, you know what we're doing. We are stopping at Costco first, and we um, are sticking to the bud the the list, not the budget. The li well, we're gonna stick to the budget too, but we're gonna stick to the list. Somehow, I got close parking on the Saturday before Thanksgiving. Like, look at this. Let me see. Can I hold on? Like, I'm only two rows deep, and the door is right there. So. We're gonna go inside. Basically, all I have to look for here is like charcuterie board stuff because they have like the big containers of dips and they have this like jalapeno cranberry dip that Cody absolutely loves. And he was very angry that I didn't pick it up the last Costco haul I did because he knew it was in stock because someone else posted about it. I got called out. Anyway, we are gonna head into Costco. We're gonna pick up the list items only. It has to be on the list. <laughs> Um, and then we will hit up, I forgot, we do have to go to the bread store today because they have the gravy mix that we like to use for our turkey gravy. So we will be hitting that up as well, but let's go inside. Instant regret. Not the best, but better than 20 bucks. Do we get two? Nah. I'm just gonna sneak over here and make my Christmas list. No. <laughs> okay, so only two items were non list items. We'll get them at the store. That's winning. Alrighty, so leaving Costco, my total was 172. Would it kill me to leave Costco under $100? Probably. I might actually like throw up and <laughs> croak over. But some of that is coming from our Christmas budget because I did buy a couple other things. And then I'm also going to take a portion of it from our like regular grocery budget because um, there were a few things that are not specific to 
Thanksgiving. Now, I don't think I told you guys in the beginning, I budgeted, if you have not seen any of my other cash stuffing videos, I budgeted $200 for Thanksgiving. My mother, bless her sweet little soul, gave me an additional $50. So technically our total budget is $250. That does not include turkeys because I, um, my parents get a, my dad, the company he works for, they give out like gift cards every holiday season for like to help with groceries. They're really awesome. So my parents got a gift card for that. They use that to purchase the turkeys that we will cook. That's the contribution they put in um, for dinner. And then my mom makes deviled eggs and she makes the cranberries and then I make all the other stuff because I love to cook. Um, I will not be filming a cook with me. It is too much in one day. Also, you know, I did not leave without my reward. But now we are going to head off to Winco and see what the price comparison is for all of our other like fresher ingredients, potatoes, celery, that kind of stuff. And then depending on what we find there, actually we got to go over and hit the bread store, but I'm trying to think. Winco comes first, then the bread store, then we'll go to my local grocery store. All right, let's go. I thought I was going to regret Costco. I'm probably going to regret this more. Starting off strong with the crackers. 50 cents less. Let's go. Yep. I knew this was a bad choice. All right. So I got almost everything. The only things that I need left to get are potatoes, celery, um, sparkling cider, which are all better deals and butter at my local grocery store. So this is kind of the escape of what we're running with right now. We got some which the line is forever long, so I'm doing this while we're here. Um, bananas were not on the list, neither were strawberries, but the kids will eat those and I'll take that out of regular groceries. Um, the jewel yams, which we make our sweet potatoes with, those are a better deal here by almost 15 cents. Peppers for our charcuterie board. Green beans were a penny difference, but I'm here, might as well get them. Um, did finally find some onions. I did not, ooh, garlic pepper, I didn't even read that. That'll be good. But crackers were by far a better deal here. So is the cream cheese and the heavy whipping cream. I did get my stuffing mix and then those are going to come out of the Christmas cooking baking budget um, because those are going towards my cookie exchange and then gifts that we're going to give out to the neighbors. So looking pretty on top of it and only a few things to get at the next stop. All right, friends, we survived Winco. The line was atrocious, but it actually moved fairly quick for Winco. I'm credit to the checkers. They were doing the damn thing. They were definitely hustling, but that we came out at $78, just over $78. Um, 12 of that was for the cookie containers that will come out of my Christmas budget. And then the strawberries and bananas will come out of our regular grocery buzz budget as well as I did pick up um this Edwards chocolate cream pie because Cody wanted he was asking about some pie that he knows is his favorite blah, 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 and I was pretty sure it's this pie so I'm buying it to make sure that that's the same one that we're talking about and I'm going to give him so it was also on sale for five dollars so you can't really beat that so those will come out of our regular grocery budget. Um, and then, so I haven't really sat down to like do the math, but I know we're still within budget. Not only, we might be on the cusp of the 200, but my mom did give me the extra 50. So I think we're riding kind of on that. We're definitely gonna be within the 250 because all I have left is to get gravy mix from the bread store. And I'm gonna use some of our regular grocery budget to buy some bread and actually I think I get like 10 free items off the dollar wall so I'm going to be doing that as well then I just I literally have basics it's like butter potatoes celery and um, Martinelli's the sparkling cider that's all we got left at my other grocery store my local grocery store so I'm feeling really good about this grocery trip Okay, I did not film in the bread store because it was um, utterly empty, number one, as far as the dollar wall, normally what I go to get for, had like nothing but buns. 
So I got a few things. They had some sourdough, which I'm going to take. I got two loaves of that for Cody to take for his lunches. Um, and then I picked up our gravy mix and I actually picked up a treat for the kids. I got some donuts that were on clearance as well. So I'm now at our final stop, my local grocery store. We're going to go get the last few items on our list. We're going to call it good. And then I will go home and run the tabulations and get us the last and final number of if we stayed in budget. The other thing is, is I will list as many of the recipes that I use for my Thanksgiving dinner down in the description box. So if you want to try some of these out and be a last minute shopper, I'll, uh, <laughs> more power to you. But I will leave everything that I have linked down below. Um, my mashed potato recipe you guys have seen and I make my sweet potatoes the exact same way. Cream cheese, butter, heavy cream, mix it all up. Um, and then the green bean casserole recipe. I do follow a recipe in that one, so I will send that one. I'll link that one down below. But beyond that, it's going to be fun. So let's go in the last grocery store. I am, I'm doing really well. I've only been gone from the house for like four hours total. So that is good considering I'll have hit four different stores today. So let's do it. Okay, as you can see, We've gotten almost everything. I forgot to cross off turkey gravy. So we really just need potatoes, olives, pumpkin pie for Claire's class, butter, canned cranberries, because yes, I am that disgusting human that likes those. Um, celery, and then sparkling cider, Martinelli's, and apples. We're gonna price apples. I think I have apples at home, but I just wanna price them. So well, let's get to it. so much yes I eat this and it is delicious okay friends total at the checker thirty dollars and six pennies I did use my change so uh, that I had a smaller amount so in total today if I add everything up we spent a total of and that's including so like just totals at each store so 172 at Costco 78 at Winco, 15 at the bread store, and $30 here came to a total of like $295, which when we take our $250 that we saved for Thanksgiving and the $50 that I had set aside for regular budgeted grocery shopping, that's $300. So in total for our big feasty meal, we were are already under budget by $5. Now, that said... I did buy things that were Christmas items. So I will be taking that off the top of that whole budget number. And I think when I go through, I have to sit down and like match my receipts and then go through and what needs to go where. But with quick numbers that I did in my head, I think in total for what we spent just on Thanksgiving groceries, we are well within our $250 budget. Um, I think we definitely went over 200 um, just to do like all of the snack tray stuff um, and just a few extras that I picked up. But I think 200 was a pretty good budget. The extra 50 was really nice to have for my mom. I will make sure to tell her. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. But I am very confident in what we spent in total today being under 300 which is what I had in cash to spend and we did not go over our total budget mm. so I will at the end put up just like a screen that kind of breaks down everything I know for a fact that we spent let's see 10 13 probably should add that in the regular grocery but 10 13 so 23 plus another 12 so 25 at least 25 dollars of it was strictly from our christmas budget so that in and of itself tells me that we were at 275 ish actually less 
70 somewhere in there um, for our Thanksgiving and regular grocery shopping meaning we should have at least $25 left over in our regular grocery shopping and so I haven't looked at all the cash because the way it all breaks down I didn't use cash at Costco um, I just kind of kept that total in my head because I get 4% um, cash back 4% cash back when I use my card so I use my card and then I'm gonna take the cash I had and put that towards my next payment to cover that so ultimately I think we did a great job we stayed in budget um, I'm very excited to have more people over this year normally it's just the four of us and my parents but this year um, like I said we invited over Cody's aunt uncle um, their daughter and her boyfriend and then um, his uncle's mom as well so we are going to have the best time in our tiny little house but I'm so pumped and yeah it's gonna be good so I'm gonna leave all the recipes linked down below that I can if you have any questions let me know i hope you guys have a fabulous thanksgiving i will see you guys thursday on thanksgiving for cash stuffing um i was thinking about putting it up a week ahead or a day early but we're just gonna stick to our regular schedule and then we are headed into the final week of thank or of november and into december like where in the fiddlesticks did time go i i, I truthfully no idea not a gosh dang clue so, without further ado, I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, and until then, oh, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can hang out because I've got kind of a Vlogmas style December planned. I've got quite a few videos planned for December. Um, it's going to be fun. I hope you guys enjoy it. But hang out with me, hit the subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.